Welcome back to Rosemary's Kitchen. I'm Rosemary Aquilina, 30th Circuit Court Judge. Wine is a staple in my house, not to drink but to cook with. And there's sweet Marsala wine that I like to use in chicken marsala. You can also use dry or other kinds of wines that you prefer. I double the sauce from my original recipe and I sometimes quadruple it because my kids love the sauce. Use one and a half to two pounds thinly sliced boneless chicken breast or the tenders. I pound the chicken after I clean it between saran wrap or you could do that in a Ziploc baggie. I pound it until it's all about the same thinness. So it'd be probably about a fourth of an inch thick maybe. For a, about a fourth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, I like to use the olive oil that's garlic infused and about four to six ounces of prosciutto. If you want to use the full eight ounce package, you can and it should be thinly sliced. They sell eight ounce packages of thinly sliced prosciutto almost everywhere. Eight ounces of mushrooms, I quarter mine after I clean them. I then use about one cup of marsala wine and one cup of chicken stock or chicken bone broth. About four tablespoons of unsalted butter and I use about a, half, a fourth of a cup or more of parsley and sometimes I will take scallions and chop a few just for color on the top. You begin by getting out a skillet and placing in the olive oil and about two tablespoons of the butter and you will fry the chicken, floured or unfloured, it's up to you, until it's golden on both sides. It's about two and a half minutes on each side. Don't burn it, but you do get a golden color on each side. Then place that on a plate and do the next batch. Do that until all of your chicken is completely cooked. Lower the heat and add the prosciutto to those drippings that are in the pan. So you'll lower the heat to medium or medium low. You just want to render the fat out of the prosciutto for about a minute and then you'll add in the mushrooms that you've quartered. You'll saute until the moisture from the mushrooms is absorbed and if you need to you can add a little bit more butter at this point. You don't have to. It depends on what's going on with your pan and the amount of chicken that you have used and you can season with salt and pepper and the garlic powder mixture now. You will pour the marsala in the pan and boil down for, oh, about a minute, and then add the chicken stock. You'll simmer for a few minutes. You can add, at this point, two tablespoons of butter, or I tend, because I don't use the flour in the chicken or on the chicken before I fry it, I tend to add rhubarbs. How I make rhubarbs, that's R-U-E, rhubarbs, is to use a stick of butter, which is a half a cup, and about a half to three quarters, not quite a cup of flour. And you add in the flour a little at a time until it's all absorbed in the butter. And then I take a small cookie scoop and form them into balls until there's none left. It should make about eight to 10 balls, and then I freeze those. If you don't have any in your freezer, it's okay to just make it up before you make the chicken, and then toss it in. This is an easy way to have rhubarbs on hand to thicken sauce in this recipe or any gravy or sauce you're making, and that's why I keep them on hand. You will find it easy and no more lumpy gravy. I will also add in some chopped parsley. Then I will add the chicken into the pan and reduce the heat to simmer. And then cook a few more minutes until it's heated through. So it cooks in the last minute of the meal. And then just cover a lid over it so it doesn't lose the moisture. You want that sauce to thicken, not evaporate completely. And just make sure it's on simmer or low. Then you can serve it and put it on a platter and then I usually put fresh parsley and green onions on it and serve it. Serve it with rice, mashed potatoes, your favorite vegetables. It is a fabulous meal and everyone loves it. They will want more. See you next time in Rosemary's Kitchen. Enjoy!